G'day guys, Andrew from Going Off Grid. If you want to see the process, we're going from this windmill to this solar bore pump. You're about to find out. So this is the windmill running out of this bore. But unfortunately, um, our windmill is pretty old and it's leaking oil everywhere. And we've just constantly having to be working on it. We've replaced the pump in there. Decided to go with a solar setup. This one is uh, just proving to be a little bit too unreliable for the future. I knew nothing about windmills six months ago either, but all the pump in here, and then that pumps out this pipe up the hill. Unfortunately, yeah, it's just struggling to spin now. Um, the gearbox in it's pretty stuffed and it's so old that uh, you can't even get parts for it anymore. The price of a new windmill was a hell of a lot more than getting a, a solar powered pump. Tomorrow's job is um, getting a new bore. That'll go in somewhere around the same area because this bore itself is failing. It's um, collapsing on itself at the bottom. I don't think it was done properly. Gonna get a new bore and um, future proof ourselves with some bore water. While we're waiting, I might show you guys where our windmill pumps up to. So just give me a sec, we'll spin this round. So after it comes out of the pump here, down this pipe, it's like half buried underground here. And then it runs out this way and up the hill. We'll uh, quickly run up the hill and I'll show you where the tanks are. So, these are our two tanks, the ones we inherited you know, with the rest of the gear on this block. Uh, the windmill currently pumps up to that top inlet there, and um, the outlet at the bottom sort of runs underground back this way to a tap. There's not really anything else there because we've removed everything else that was plumbed in. And then we've just got a little overflow tank here. Probably going to replace these tanks because they're both um, just a bit small for uh, all the watering we're going to want to do when we reforest the whole block. And I think it's about 10 meters height from back down the hill where the windmill is, so it's doing a bit of work, but we've been assured that the solar pump will um, do it no worries. Uh, you can sort of see the tractor right back down the hill there, so yeah, pretty keen to see how we go. Alright guys, we are on the way back out to the block uh, to meet up with our bore driller. Uh, hopefully we're going to get this new bore in today. Pretty keen because hopefully it'll mean we get some decent water supply. Um, pretty lucky where we are, the, uh, the block of land is almost right next to the uh, main bore fields for the whole area. So there's plenty of water underground and it's um, relatively like, really shallow. It's actually really good water too. Um, we've been drinking it, um, what we've been getting from the windmill, and um, like you can't even really tell uh, that it's raw water. It just tastes like regular tap water. It's not um, salty, and it's um, yeah, it tastes pretty good. So even though we'll be mostly using it for watering plants, it's um, it's good to know that yeah, we can use it if we uh, need to, you know, have an emergency supply if we run out of rainwater. So yeah, let's go and. Um, get stuck into getting this new bore in.
Well, there we go. The bore is in. A little bit of a mess, but uh, it's not too bad. It was pretty interesting watching them do it. They um, got down to about as deep as the old bore here, which is about six metres. Um, that was about one metre down into the water table, which wasn't enough for our new solar pump. It was just sucking it dry. So these guys went through that area and they went right down to 15. We've got nearly 10 metres of water there, so should be heaps to pump some water. It was pretty interesting watching them go down. We got samples from every meter and um they're saying that there's like a a bit of a coral old coral reef that goes through under this area even though it's you know six meters deep under the ground but they were pulling out little shells and stuff that were still in perfect condition pretty interesting but um the main thing is we're gonna get heaps of water hopefully as soon as we get the solar system in which will uh Fingers crossed be this week sometime. So I've been up the top of the block this morning doing some work. The solar pump guy has snuck in and basically just finished the whole install without me even knowing. So um, this is it. There's not much to it. There's a pump down the bottom of the bore. And um, yeah, that's our panel. Little controller. There's also a float switch there, so if it pumps a bit too much and we run out of water, it turns it off without burning the pump. We've just rehooked on this hose that was on the windmill. She's pumping away. I'll, uh, I'll take this off and just uh, give you a bit of a look and show you how much it's pumping. Very nice. Oh yes. I don't know if you can hear this over the birds, but that is the sound of running water. Going to pull down the windmill a little bit later, the Savo, and clean that up. And then this area is sorted. Free water. So Chris is just uh, going to whack some oil out of the top of this before we tip the windmill over so the oil doesn't go everywhere. And... Um, Gonna put it on his truck and take it away and recycle. Empty. Look at that. That's it. Old windmill's gone. And uh, now we can clean this area up. This thing's still cranking away, even though it's late afternoon. Just hear it running. Pumping up top. It's a good thing. Mission accomplished. So that's pretty much it for the solar bore pump install guys. If you've got any questions, hit me up, leave a comment, I'll try and get back to you as best I can. I'm not an expert, but now I've done it, I might be able to help. Um, if you like the video, hit the subscribe, like buttons, all the rest of it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.